Novak Djokovic has the upper hand on his opponents at this week's Monte Carlo Masters. Novak Djokovic has an edge over his rivals at this week's Monte Carlo Masters as he bids to win his third title at the tournament. The world number one was given a boost when Rafael Nadal and Carlos Alcaraz withdrew, making him the clear favorite for the title. And Djokovic has also admitted that he's enjoying the luxury of sleeping in his own bed. While he also has extra motivation given his recent disappointing results in Monte Carlo. Djokovic is playing his first tournament since February after he missed Indian Wells and Miami when U.S. Homeland Security denied his vaccine waiver request. The world number one is hoping to start his clay season strong in Monte Carlo, having failed to get beyond the third round in his last two appearances. A two-time champion in Monaco, the top seed has three things working in his favor this week as he bids to add to his trophy cabinet. Ahead of the tournament, Djokovic has been speaking about his chances and revealed he had extra motivation after some disappointing results in the Principality. I have done more training on clay, which is positive if you think about the clay season, he said ahead of his opening match. I have not had much success in Monte Carlo in the past two seasons. I haven't played great tennis here, so I am hoping this year I can start the clay season better than in previous years and build my form as well as his extra motivation. Djokovic also has something of a home advantage in Monte Carlo. The 22-time major champion has called Monte Carlo his home for years, also having a base in Marbella and in his home of Belgrade, Serbia. While it has been reported that Djokovic and his family have been spending more time in the latter two cities in recent years, he will still get to sleep in his own bed this week. It is a club I know very well, Djokovic said of the tournament's host venue. Quite a few top players reside in Monaco and use this club as a training base. The club transforms incredibly during the weeks of the tournament, but it is a great feeling to sleep in your own bed. Counting the site as one of his local clubs, the world number one will know the conditions better than his rivals who don't reside in Monaco. He added, being able to have a home feeling of playing in the tournament the atmosphere is amazing, with the club being so intimate and small. It is noisy and great. And Djokovic has already had arguably his two biggest threats on the clay eliminated this week. Both Nadal and Alcaraz withdrew from the tournament, with the 36-year-old continuing to recover from an injury he picked up in January. Nadal said he was not yet ready to make his comeback from injury, while Alcaraz suffered issues with his hand and spine after the sunshine swing which forced him to pull out. But the world number two is expected to return in Barcelona next week. 